Thank you, Angela. We want to get back to that breaking news out of Ferguson. A deadly crash on West Florissant and a suspect on the run right now. Right. The Power of Two's Chris Frenier is there right now. He's been talking to police. Chris, what is the latest? John, a deadly crash, a suspect on the run, and an innocent bystander killed who is simply driving down West Florissant when this all unfolded. Let me set the scene for you. I am at West Florissant and Hudson, basically at the border of Ferguson and Delwood, right behind me down West Florissant with the tarp. That is the vehicle of the person who was killed in this crash. Chief Troy Doyle with the Ferguson Police Department telling me he believes the person killed in this is a female who was driving a car down West Florissant. She was hit, according to Chief Doyle, by a suspect who was fleeing from Ferguson police uh, down West Forest in here as well. It was a violent crash. It is a tragic situation and there's simply no other way to put it. And right now the suspect is still on the loose as we speak. The highway patrol is here. Ferguson police are here. You can see this is a large scene because there are vehicles crashed in two separate locations. I want to show you some video we captured earlier from our Nissan Rogue Runner, Nick Lopez. That is the video of the suspect vehicle who hit that innocent driver, killed her. Then that car crashed. The male suspect who was driving that car took off on foot. He is still at large as we speak. According to police, there was a female passenger in that car as well. She was taken to the hospital for treatment of minor injuries. We understand non life threatening injuries. We are still trying to gather more information from police at this point. But here is what I know from Chief Doyle in terms of how this all unfolded as this timeline uh, we can put together so far for you. This started with Ferguson police, according to Chief Doyle, seeing the suspect vehicle speeding through Ferguson last night. Ferguson police tried to pull over that vehicle. That vehicle did not stop. My understanding from Chief Doyle is that the Ferguson police at that point did not pursue that vehicle. Later in the evening, Chief Doyle says the Ferguson police officer again encountered that suspect vehicle at the QT right up West Forest from our location just off 270. Chief Doyle says his officer again tried to make contact with that driver. That driver again took off, went across the street to another parking lot. That is when Chief Doyle tells me his officer put on his lights and sirens. The suspect vehicle, according to Chief Doyle, took off down West Forest at that point. And in a matter of 30 or 45 seconds, as the Ferguson police vehicle was trying to stop that car, it slammed into that innocent driver, killing that woman in the car behind us. The suspect vehicle then crashing farther down West Forest. And, and that is where we stand now with the female passenger taken to the hospital, the male driver, the suspect and all of this still at large as we speak. Both Ferguson police and the Missouri Highway Patrol are investigating this tragic incident. We will continue to gather more details, bring them to you just as soon as we can. For now, live at the Ferguson-Delwood border, I'm Chris Renier.